lot of people are not prepared. A lot of people are not prepared. They are not prepared to leave this world. Looking at a couple scriptures and Ruth, when Ruth's husband died, she hung around her mother-in-law and her mother-in-law said, "What? why are you hanging out with me? You think I, I'm gonna give you another husband? I'm too old to have babies now. You need to prepare yourself to move on. She wasn't prepared to meet Boaz at the time. Now, if you look at the bloodline of Boaz and why that uh, Ruth and Boaz marriage was so important, you figure out what son was born from Boaz and Ruth. Jesus told the rich ruler, hey, sell all you have. Prepare to follow me. He couldn't do it. Wasn't prepared to let things go, to let the past go, to let possessions go in order to follow and go with the king. The five foolish were not prepared. They had to go dibble and dabble in the world because they were not ready to meet the bridegroom. A lot of people standing in line with us right now, but they are not prepared. Sure, just, uh, uh, antsy, always moving around, can't be still. There's something in that spirit that's not allowing that person to focus. A lot of people are not prepared to let go of the past, not prepared to let go of the things of this world. And that's all the Bible tells us over and over and over again is to prepare yourself and get ready. But a lot of people are not ready. They're not prepared. And we know a lot of those folks who are not prepared. Think about, again, Ruth hung around her mother, Nomi, or Noemi. And then her mother had to speak wisdom to her. Hey, you've got to get yourself, you gotta let that go. You can't allow yourself to stay in a grief spirit either. Grieving about things that happened in the past because it won't allow you to move forward. At the time that the death happened to Ruth, she was not prepared. She was still in mourning. But it's only so long that you can stay in that because you gotta get prepared. Jesus told them, he says, told the ones that he come to follow. And they said, well, we gotta go bury our dead. Said, let the dead bury the dead. God is not a God of the dead, but of the living. The dead are resting. They know nothing, the Bible says. And if you're not prepared, you're going to miss the time of the calling. Now, a lot of people can't multitask. They can't and they can't live life without being totally sucked in and drawn into the thing that they're living life or things that they're going after. Some people can't do that. They get, they're, they're a two one track mind. It's like, you can't focus on, it's like when I'm training people at the job. I always tell people, when you're doing one task, you gotta have your mind on four to five other things that you know you gotta do after you finish this. And people are not prepared to come in and do that kind of work because that's not that they're they're functioning thinking three or four steps ahead while they're in the present time you got to be able to think and be in the future while you're still in the past while you're still in the present rather this is how it goes you know as a supervisor when i'm training people and this is also the scripture as well you you here in the present but the event took you back it made you fall back which is dangerous no you got to be able to stand in the present you're going to deal with what's going on in the present but your mind got to be four five steps ahead all the time 
every time. I might be cooking dinner, but I got clothes in the wash. I gotta go pick my children up and I gotta go, while I'm currently working in this situation, I'm preparing myself to be ready to make three or four other moves. So that's, so that, 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 that means by the time I get through with this, I'm not standing there as confused, trying to figure out what's my next thing I gotta do. I already know what I gotta do. A lot of people are not prepared in that way to think ahead. When you read the scriptures, you have to think ahead. The Bible is telling you it's already been done. But are you prepared to move on from this thing that you're stuck in right now? You got to be able to be able to move ahead. We can't go backwards, folks. Going backwards is is a detriment to our spiritual health and welfare and well-being. And not being able to let go means there's unforgiveness there. And you're not ready to move forward. You're not ready to drop the things of this world. The rich man went away sorrowful because Jesus told him, sell everything you got if you want to come roll with me. And he couldn't do it. Why? He was not mentally prepared for the answer he was given or received from God. A lot of times we get we, we get a word and it ain't what we ready to receive. And you'll stand there at that door as God shut it, waiting for him to open it again. And he's already got other doors waiting for you to walk through. And you're missing things because you are not prepared. The five foolish were not prepared. That's the worst feeling, folks, as I said before. It's going to be the worst feeling in the world to know that you were not prepared because you was messing around. And when the time came, you missed it because you were not prepared. You were not ready. When you have all the time in the world, every day is a day to finish something that got started, to complete something every single day is. And that first thing is just starting with repentance. Every day where our feet hit the ground, we're praying repentance. Throughout the day, prepare. See, these scriptures, man, <laughs> The rich guy was not prepared to hear that answer. Oh, I'll do anything. Oh, you will? Well, sell this and that and let's go. He was not prepared for that answer. A lot of times we are, we're, we're, we are not prepared for the answers that we receive. But then again, that's your test of faith right there. What you gonna do when you get that answer that you wasn't prepared to receive, but it's the right answer. And if you struggle with that answer that you received, then that means there's some things that you ain't let go yet. We need to continue to work on that every single day. We got to, because if not, we won't be prepared when the king comes and he's at the gate. Let's stay prepared. Peace.